Have you ever landed on a long content website and had to scroll to the top manually? Up and down, up and down? Not ideal. We all know that adding a scroll to top button on a long content website adds further ease of navigation to the said website. So this is what we are building today. All you need is Elementor free plugin and just a little bit of time and patience. I know that you can actually install a plugin from WordPress and just be done with it, but that would be at the expense of your website's performance. We all know that the more plugins you have on a WordPress website, the laggier and the slower it gets. And you might as well save the plugin space for a plugin that you actually need or you can't make yourself. So let's get into it. We are going to be adding the button to the footer. So in order to do that, go to the bottom of your page. For the purpose of this video, I simply added a footer from the Elementor library. So you, I don't waste your time with styling a footer. What we are going to be doing now is creating a new column where the button will be living. So I'm going to click on this and add new column, as simple as that. I know that I call this a button, but it is not a button per se, it's just a simple icon that has a link to the top of the page where you are going to be scrolling. So let's go to our elements and find the icon. Where is it? Okay, drag and drop the icon. Perfect, so far so good. As you can see here under the content tab, you have the option to either add an icon to, from the library or upload your own SVG. So I'm going to be uploading my own because I already have one downloaded. There you go, here we are. All right, as you can see, the icon has on the left and on the right has some space and it looks not good. We don't want that. In order to change that, we are going to be going to the advanced tab and switch the width from default to inline auto. Now the icon is aligned horizontally within the column. Because we want the button to have a fixed position at all times, we are going to change the position from default to fixed. And as you can see, the button jumped on the top right hand corner, <laughs> but we want it on the opposite side, on the opposite corner. So what we are going to be doing is play with the horizontal and vertical orientation. So we are switching it to right, the horizontal orientation, and the vertical orientation to the bottom. And there you go. How easy was that? Because the button is right pushed in the corner. We don't want that. We are going to be playing with the offset. So I want it away from the margin. I think that looks good. And away from the bottom. Let's see how it would look. I think that's a little bit too high. Of course, you can play around and find the right position, but the position that you want it to be, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna be playing a little bit with this and I'll be back. All right, I think it is good. Let's continue. In order to style a little bit this button, we are going to be navigating to the background. Actually, there are two ways to style it. This is one way and stay until the end because I will show you a second way, which is my favorite, but let's do this because I think this is more like the classic way people do it. So change the background type. If you have global colors already in, you can choose the color that you have set there, or you can just simply choose a color that you want. All right, and because I don't like the color of the icon and the contrast is not very good, let's just go to style and we are going to be changing the color from here, called primary color. Again, if you have global color set, you can choose one of those colors, but make sure that there's a contrast between the icon and the, the background of it, so you can actually see the icon. I will change it simply to black because I like the contrast. It looks really good. What I don't like right now is the icon doesn't have enough padding or space around it and it's a little bit way too big. What we're gonna do, we're going to be going to the advanced tab and add a little bit of padding. Let's add 10 and I'm going to be unlinking because right and I want right and bottom padding to be different. 
I want it to be 15. I think it's starting to take shape. I think it's great. Also, you want the button to be always on top of all the elements that you have on the page because you don't want it to disappear at any time when you're scrolling on the page. So in order to do that, we are going to add a Z index of five. Actually, you can add, if you want to make sure that you're secured and you're covered, you can add a 9,999 Z index. This will for sure <laughs> put your button on top of everything. I also want the button to only appear once I scroll down the page. So when I at the top of the page, I don't want to see the button here. Only once I start scrolling. And I want it to have like a gradual transparent effect, if you know what I mean. For that, we need to, do, to go to the motion effects because scrolling is a motion effect. We are going to be navigating to motion effects and turn on the scrolling effect. And down here, you can see there's an option called transparency. Click on pencil and leave all this as they are unless you want a different kind of direction but I don't recommend anything else but fade in. I mean, it looks nice. And we are going to be changing the viewport. We're going to be pulling the first arrow to 0% and the second arrow, I like it between 5 and 10. Now, as you can see, I've scrolled to top. You don't see it. But once you start scrolling, the button appears and it's fantastic. It looks great, right? Now you might ask, how do we make the button to scroll to top? Like, what do we do? What's the magic here? As I said earlier, we need to set a link to the top section. We're going to be navigating back to the content tab. And you can see here under icon, you have a link. We are going to add a name to this button. I will call mine very descriptive, scroll to top. Don't forget to add a hashtag in front. Otherwise, it will not work. Once you're done with that, scroll to the top of your page the first section click on it and go to the advanced tab and under here i already have it from the, my previous test add the name that you named your button so i named mine scroll to top and make sure that you update okay we are waiting to see if it's working test it and it's working how fantastic is that it doesn't disappear because my page has some space but if you don't have any space on top of your page, it will take you right to the top of the page. And it's so, so smooth. I love it. And it disappears and appears again if you scroll. I love it. If you want to use this on other pages, one thing you can do is basically just simply saving it as a global element. To do that, just right click on it and you can see here, save as global. And let's just name it scroll to top and save it is here as you can see i have other <laughs> two tests that i made earlier to make sure that everything is working properly obviously make sure that you check that is responsive make sure that it looks good on all devices let's check that is responsive on tablet i think i want it a little bit more to the right the position to the bottom is great let's see on mobile I think on mobile I will leave it as is because I think it looks good Here we are fantastic so another way to style the button is basically simply go to edit let's remove the background and right now we only have we only see the I we are going to be going again to the content tab under view we are going to change it to stacked and you can see that now we are having a background already and you can switch between circle or square shape. Go to style and change the size. Make it as big or small as you want. The padding. I think this is pretty good. Rotation, radius, border radius. Make it a little bit rounder. I think this is also very nice. And you can also change the primary color being the background and the secondary color being the icon. But we are going to revert to the previous one because it was much nicer. And there you have it. That was my second way. And I think it's the easiest way, the fastest way to style the button. It's pretty easy. I hope this was useful for you. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.